All right, y'all, so I'm wrapping this bitch up. And I bought these shitty uh, steam lines here. They're like 60 bucks. Fucking braided. You see my my last picture I'll show. I'll, I'll pull up that, you know, they sit up very high. You don't want fucking lines that sit up that high. I didn't really realize it at the time, but. So I was like, fuck. I had uh, bought an engine uh, from Junkyard. Came with one of these, but it's a different model, like an 08. So. I pretty much just swapped it to the back because I want a four corner steam kit on this engine. So, literally clears my oil pressure sensor right there. It's a little rusted, yeah. If it leaks, it leaks. I'll change it, but got a little hose clamp on it. And, uh, yeah, she works and she clears the intake and everything. And you ain't got to worry about uh, hitting anything. I'm running a little 3 8 line. I'm going to go up under here through over the, the, probably go beside the fuel rail or whatnot, keep it as low as I can. And I'm going to put a little T here. So it's going to go in from the top or right here. And it's going to go into my radiator. So yeah, that's my little fix. And it should work. It's going to keep all the fuel, uh, steam vents really low. And I like it the way that came out, that turned out. Here's another shot. I'm just going to pretty much put this up on, uh, for all you guys to see on my channel. But, uh, this is the DIY, you know, if you got another one of these steam vents laying around, preferably the straight up one. If you got one that sticks out, you're going to have to cut it probably to about right here. But yeah, it clears the little sensor there. And then you can pretty much just go down as low as probably that. And that steel is lower than the radiator. And then you got your budget DIY four, four corner steam vent kit. I mean, that right there, you can get pick one up at a junkyard for like five bucks. That one's a little rusted. I'm probably, if it leaks, I'll go grab another one. But yeah, this is my factory one. And this is the cheapest solution compared to paying $200 for a fucking expensive ass steam steam kit that won't even fit under your factory manifold that goes through here you're gonna have to go over it but yeah this right here is gonna be the best best solution is a 3 8 line from your fact two factory steam vents and with just a little bit of bending this right here will clear your oil sensor so yeah all right here's a little mock-up of my DIY steams four corner steam kit. All right, that is off of a this steam steam kit right here is off of a 07 Escalade L92, and I got it bent just a little bit to where it clears the oil pressure sensor, and it's got a rubber boot over it that's factory just so it doesn't rub a hole in anything. I've got a this is a 3 8 hose or 5 16 I think 5 16 hose. <laughs> And just you're gonna bend it and it's just gonna barely go over the intake manifold along the fuel rail and I'm gonna have to shorten this but you're gonna go to this T which is uh for my steam kit that I had to get at O'Reilly's and you're gonna go to your factory this is what you're gonna get from GM it's gonna have the straight out so go there tie that in and then you'll go straight to your radiator and that right there, if you have both of those, you can achieve that for, this was like 12 bucks at O'Reilly's, but if you go to Lowe's, it's like two or three bucks. And yeah, you just tie that in. And that's the cheapest way versus paying all that, like a shitload of money for something that you can't even run under the factory manifold. They have the steam kits from like Summit Racing and the other places, but they go under the factory manifold and there's not enough room. You'd have to modify your manifold. So yeah, that's it. Here's a little video of final mock-up. Yeah, it looks a little ghetto, but you know. It's got plenty of clearance there. Everything looks pretty good. <laughs>